Okay, so this is unit three, FRQ question one. Um, in this question, we are doing some basic selection, um, and they give you some variables to work with, and you're to assume that they've been declared and initialized. And when they say initialized, they mean uh, non-null values. So you have a Boolean va variable named RSVP, an int variable called, uh, named selection, uh, where one corresponds to beef, two to chicken, three to pasta, and all other values are fish. Uh, a string variable named option one, a string variable named option two. Okay, so assume a code, uh, write a code segment that prints attending if RSB is true and prints not attending otherwise. Okay, so for this question, we simply need to check if RSVP, and because this is a Boolean variable, we can just, we don't have to say is it equal to true. We can do that too, it's equal to true. But if, if RSVP, we can just do that. Then we're going to print uh, system.out.print line attending. And now we can say else, if it's not true, system.out.print line not attending. I think that's what they were asking for. Yep. Okay. Question B. Write a code segment that prints the food item associated with selection. For example, if selection is three, the code should print out pasta. Uh, write the code segment below. Your code segment should meet all specifications and conform to the example. So remember, if it's one, we print beef, two, we print chicken, three, we present uh, pasta, otherwise fish. So I'm going to first solve this incorrectly. And let's see if you can spot the error. So if selection is equal to one, uh, system, system.out.println uh, beef, And selection is equal to two system dot out dot print line. Uh, what is the chicken? Let's copy this. So we have to type this all again. Th three. And pasta, otherwise it's fish. So now else system.out.println fish. Okay, so there's a small error here. Take a minute to see if you can figure out what it is and pause the video. Okay, good job on finding the answer. So, um, so the problem is that this is going, if for example, we have beef, if selection is equal to one, we're going to print beef. We're not going to print this because it's not equal to two. And then it's not going to print pasta because it's not equal to three, but it will print fish. So in the case where it's equal to one, it's going to print beef fish, uh, which is we're only supposed to print beef. So. Uh, how can we fix this? Well, we can just put else statements in. So else if, else if this. So this will only, it only check if it's equal to two, if it's not equal to one. It'll only check if it's equal to three, if it's not equal to one or two. And it'll only print fish if none of these conditions are satisfied. Remember that else statements are always cor correspond to the, the, the if statement they're closest to. Um, okay. So moving on, let's see. Uh, write a code segment that will store a dinner selection in option one based on the values of RSVP and selection. The intended behavior of the code segment is described below. If RSVP uh, is true, uh, the code segment will uh, store an option one, a string indicating the attendance, food, and choice. For example, RSVP is true and selection is one. You're gonna print, thanks for attending, you will be served beef. Otherwise, you're going to store, sorry, you can't make it, okay? So 
first thing we should check is if RSBP is false. Let's, then we're, we're done. We just print out, uh, or we, we store, sorry, you can't make it. So if not RSVP, uh, option one is assigned, sorry, you can't make it. Okay, else we know RSVP is true now. Let's make option one, we'll build it. Uh, we'll build this string. Thanks for attending. You will be served. Well, we don't know what you're going to be served yet. Uh, and now we can check uh, if uh, selection is equal to one. Option one plus equals beef, and there's a period too. And we can now we can do the same thing as we did before. Else, if selection is equal to two, option one plus equals chicken. if selection is equal to three, option one plus equals pasta. And then finally, else option one plus equals fish. Okay, and then there, then we're done. Uh, does it print it out? No, just stores the information. All right, so finally, we're going to write a code segment that prints true if strings option one and option two contain the same values, and we'll print false otherwise. Now, remember that strings are objects, and you're not supposed to use the equality operator. So we're not supposed to use, uh, we can't, we, we shouldn't simply say, uh, if option one is equal to option two. Um, because uh, the, these could be two different objects. And remember the equality operator checks to see if they're pointing to the same objects. Now with strings, this usually will work um, because of the nature of how you create uh, uh, strings. Um, if you use string literals, um, the Java heap always looks, does this string exist already? If it does, point to it. So sometimes this will work, but it's not reliable. This, this may or may not work. Um, and it, it would certainly be bad style even if it does work. Um, so how do we compare two strings? Well, let's imagine we forget. We can look at our reference sheet. We look at the string class and we see Boolean equals string other. So return, returns true if this is equal to other, returns false otherwise. So we can use that. So we can say if option one dot equals option two, um, what are we supposed to print? We're supposed to print uh, system dot out dot print. We could actually just print the, um, the, the statement because that will that if we if we print the boolean this returns a boolean we could just simply print it but let's let's do it this way and then else out dot print line false okay. and that's the answer